Next, we have up uh, Carolyn Cole, uh, County Atlantic Beach Relationships. Ms. Cole. Good evening. Good evening. Good Chairman evening. Lazarus, Commissioners. I was here a few months ago and I said that periodically I would come back and give you some insight into the affairs of the town of Atlantic Beach from my perspective. Um, they may be across the hall. We had um, Vicki Nix, who is the coordinator for the Atlantic Beach Consolidation Coalition, uh, Councilwoman Reverend Wendy Price, and Mr. John Skeeters was going to attend tonight with us, and he's had another issue to come up. But we have, the month of August has been very interesting as we are seriously contemplating consolidation. It was one of the things that we had talked about and agreed upon prior to the Supreme Court ruling coming down. We seem a bit divided again, which is not unusual for the town of Atlantic Beach. But Councilwoman Price and I have decided to carry this water. My roots run deep in the Atlantic Beach Landowners Association, as I was one of its founding members. I also took on the task of managing the town for four years. I took on the job of, as a write-in candidate for an election that seated me on the council. And every step of the way, we have done everything humanly possible to help Atlantic Beach with what it told us back in 1998 was its goal, and that was to remain an independent municipality. The Landowners Association, however, consists of people who are reasonable and had the foresight to ask the question when we were doing the surveys, what if we don't make it? What will we do next? And the answer was we would return to unincorporated Horry County and or consider consolidation with North Myrtle Beach. The Landowners Association asked the question, how long will we wait? And we said to 2012, and in 2012, the Atlantic Beach Landowners Association said, it is time now for us to at least responsibly Look into all of our options. We have failed at a lot of things, and we're not proud of that. But the month of August was a lot of commemoration of I Have a Dream in the commemorative march on Washington. And Atlantic Beach is a dream deferred. And the poet Langston Hughes asked the question, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it fester like a sore and run? Does it stink like rotten meat or dry up? like a raisin in the sun, or does it just explode? Well, we believe that there's an opportunity here, but it's going to take all of us working together. We've all witnessed what has gone wrong in Atlantic Beach, and I think in order for that dream to be realized of cultural historic preservation, which was the most important part of what the Landowners Association and the landowners expressed that they wanted to see. And in order to do that, we're going to have to have the stability of a government capable of doing that. Whether that is the county, whether that is North Myrtle Beach, that vote was taken today, I don't know what the answer would be. I don't think that's the most important issue. I think reasonable people will determine and decide that. But we must put these issues on the table now and we must talk about it because it's, we can no longer function as a government that disobeys practically every law the state of South Carolina has in place. So that is not what the dream was about. No one ever said, I have a dream to be a beach ghetto. Nobody ever said, I have a dream to have taxpayers pay and spend and be unaccountable as a government. We are prepared now to do what is next. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be easy. But I do believe at the end of the day, the taxpayers of the state of South Carolina will be able to deliver for Atlantic Beach what we were not able to do. And that is probably one of the best heritage-based resorts this country has ever seen, preserving African-American, African, Native American, Gullah Geechee heritage right here on the Grand Strand in Atlantic Beach. We may not be a municipality, but we will be the proud owners of a history and heritage that goes on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Cole. Appreciate that.